Welcome back to Train Simulator Classic, my friends. I'm LazyJet, and we are doing another race. Uh, we're actually doing our first World Cup race uh, on the brand new racetrack that I'm still currently building. And so far, I've spent about three weeks, four weeks building this, and yet it's still not finished. Not, not just yet. But for our first World Cup race on our brand new racetrack, today we are trying some electric trains. Since, you know, I'm using overhead wires on this route, so I thought electric trains would be uh, appropriate for our first World Cup race. So let's meet the locomotives. Representing the United States of America, we have the Amtrak Asala HHP8. Representing Great Britain, we have a Class 90. I'm a big fan of these. And representing Germany, we have the DB101, or the 101, or, or the 101. You pronounce it how you want. And this is an interesting choice of locomotives because there is one thing that these locomotives have in common. And it's the style, because all three of these locomotives have cabs on each end. And because they have cabs on each end, uh, there's no way to access the locomotive into the uh, into the coaches. So uh, that's the thing that all these three locomotives have in common. They have cabs on each end, and there's a big pole in the way. Let me just move out the camera. Yes, there we go. They both have cabs. So, no, all three of them, sorry, have cabs on each end. And I actually do like the type of trains where, like, you know, they actually require a locomotive to actually pull the coaches, but they're not actually part of the coaches, like the uh, TGV, the Class uh, 390, or even the Acela Express. Now, I think there is a word to actually describe what locomotives these are, where they actually have a cab on each end, but I don't actually know the word. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a train lover, not a train expert. But obviously, the big question is, which one of these three is the fastest out of the Americans, the British, or the Germans? Well, let's find out. <laughs> so, yes, let's play some Train Simulator Classics. <laughs> So, uh, what locomotives is what? So, uh, loco, I think that's four, two, and three. So, we'll start with, uh, I think we'll start with number three, since that'll be more easier to do. And where is it going? Where's engine three going to be going? So, let's have a look on the top of the map. And it's going to be going, I believe, to destination 23. So, let's see if that actually works. So, where is it? Destination 23. There it is. Bop. And let's have you at 100% power. Has it accepted it? Yeah, yes, it looks good. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then let's have a look. Um, I think it's locomotive. No, yeah, tr look, yeah, train. I think it's train two, I think. And where's train two going to be going? It uh, looks like it's going to be on destination 22. So let's just see if that works. Destination 22. Where are you? There it is. And we'll have you at 100% power. See if it's accepted it. Yes, it's accepted it. Good. <laughs> I was a bit worried about that, but uh, no, I think it's all working. And then I think that's uh, loco, f well, train number four. And where are you going to be going? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I think, uh, I think we might have a problem with uh, loco four. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, have you on program to platform 34 to see if that works. Um, oh no, oh dear. I think we're having, I think I'm, I'm, am I programming the wrong locomotive? Let's have a look. No, that's loco 5. And, uh, loco, I think, is that loco 4? Let's tell you, we've got loco 5. Was it loco, th no. Uh, let's, okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, loco 3, that's fine. Loco 2, that's fine. Um, it's the German one. It's always the Germans, isn't it? Um, if I put it on this platform, just out of curiosity, see if this will work. Please, game, don't crash. Um, I'm just having a look, see if it's going to get corrupted or anything. I'm looking at, I'm just looking at the track to see if it's going to get, no, it's, it's, okay, it's, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be corrupted. 
So, what loco is it again? It's loco. Yeah, it's it's engine four. Then program to what was it? Platform. I mean, let's just, we'll even we'll even go to platform twenty one. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, okay, it goes to platform twenty one just fine. But let's see, will it go to? Will it go to plat? Will it go to platform thirty four? So if we go to platform thirty four. No, something something is corrupting it. Okay, um, in that case, then I'll have to get technical. Uh, I'm going to have to get very smart here. So, do, 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 do. If I programmed it to go to destination, um, what is it? if we uh, stop, no, um, pick up passengers, instruct, no, um, Oh, Oliver, you're having a lot of problems right now, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, I think we're going to have to just use platform 30. Is, is it we're on platform 30? Let's try that. Platform 30. No. It's, it's not liking that at all. So, train 4 and 2 are having problems. And why is that? Let's have a look at trains... Uh, three and two. Why is this happening? I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's because I've got too many switch points crossing over each other, and it's causing the game to get super confused. This, yeah, it, it, it's the switch points. That's that's the that's the issue I'm having. Okay, so now we know that it doesn't want to start from this York that I've customly made. We're gonna have to do it from where we did it before. So we're gonna have to start from the here. Which is this? This this is annoying. I have to admit, this is really annoying. Um, I think when I f when, when this route is like 100% complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the switch points. Well, make a copy of this route, so I can have this route for fun, but also make a copy of this route, so I can get rid of all the switch points and just have it as a racetrack. That's that is a better idea. Okay, finally, we have finally programmed them. Now we are ready to race. I'm, I'm ready to race, finally. I mean, I've been recording for about 20 minutes, and uh, um, I haven't even started yet. This is probably going to be the longest video I've ever made. But anyway, let's get racing. Let's click play. Are you sure you want to save this? Honestly, no, I don't want to save this because um, it's not what I wanted, but there you go. Anyway, we're off. So Germany has got a good lead, followed by the uh, Americans. But obviously, uh, the Class 90 is very slow starting. Now, I don't actually have much hopes for the uh, Class 90 because um, in my previous video, um, it wasn't actually very fast. So anyway, uh, let's release our brakes, trade and forward, and away we go. Right, so uh, Class 90... I. Yeah, I, I can tell who's who's going to come in last place. So, uh, au revoir to the uh, Class 90. I'll see you at the finish line, my friend. And we've got to catch up to the leaders now. Now, I have to point out, every single trade is pulling the exact same amount of coaches. They're all pulling 10 coaches. I just want to make that very plain so people are... are so, they, you know, so, you, so you know that I'm not cheating. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, there's the HHPA in second place, and I think the DB101 is uh, in at first place. I mean, what's our speed? I mean, just going to slow it down. I mean, I'm doing about 160-ish miles per hour. So there you go, 145. That's our speed linked. Um, oh, a little bit of lag. Uh, let's have a look. How's the HHP8 doing? I think the HHP8 is, in fact, slowing behind. Falling behind, not slowing behind. What am I saying? So if we go up ahead, uh, it looks like Team Germany is in the lead and doing a mind-blowing... Uh, well, I don't know how fast it's going because I'm still playing catch-up. So let's see how fast you are going. So slow it down just a little bit. Doing 146. Ooh, I think it's doing about 145, I think. Uh, 145, yep. <laughs> it's glitching all over the place. Oh, no, there you go. We've, uh, we're perfectly linked. Um, this is perfect. We're doing about 145. HHPA is... Uh, Somewhere back there. I mean, there it is. But the, where's, where's the class 90? I cannot actually see the class 90. Um, there's the HHP8. It's making a very weird sound. But where's the class 90? I, I, I don't know. Oh, no, there it is. Um, 
oh, I'm being pulled away. Uh, because I'm get I'm so far away from my normal train. Um, I can't actually see with a class ninety. I'm 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 being too pulled. I'm being pulled too far back. But anyway, we're going over the big bridge. Uh, so far, Team Germany is in the lead, and I tell you, it's actually quite nice doing a uh, a World Cup race once again. But like doing it on a route like this. Um, I have to be honest, I've got a love-hate relationship with this room. I mean, yes, this is a really nice room, but the programming is just not working as well as I hoped. But, you know, when this route is completely finished, I'll make a copy and then just get rid of all the switch points and just have a dead straight race. That That's a good idea. Right, so we're passing uh, Bill's farm. Uh, hello, Bill. Well, morning, Bill. Um... We've gone past Wendy as well. We didn't actually say good morning to Wendy Wendy either, did we? No, we didn't. All right, so in the tunnel we go. Team Germany is entering the tunnel first. Meow. <laughs> there I go. <laughs> Inside the tunnel. That is hilarious. Uh, where's the HHPA? It's still falling behind. But remember, it's the first train to stop. Those are the rules. How fast is the HHPA going? Um, uh, It's not going, like, super slow, but it's obviously not, it's not as fast as uh, Team Germany. Meow. So the HHPA meow, is now in the tunnel, and I think we are out of the tunnel. Well, we, as the HHPA enters the tunnel, we've already exited the tunnel, so we, I think we need to speed up a bit now. Um, going past the Dreamhouse farm. Uh, I'll, actually, I'm going to pause the game quickly and actually give you guys a tour of the Dreamhouse farm. Um, this is this is this is basically um, a house, well, property that I've uh, made myself. Well, obviously, I built this route, duh. But no, this is my dream house. I've got my own land. I've got my own garden with a trampoline. Uh, I've got a nice little farm. I've got some caravans. I've uh, got some sheep. I've got some cows. I've got a big sh uh, shed. And I've got some coaches as well. It's all overgrown, all abandoned. So this is uh, this is the dream house farm. So, um Give, give the Dreamhouse farm some love because, um, you know, it took me ages to build that. But anyway, back to the race. Um, so we've gone past uh, the Dreamhouse farm. And I think we're coming up to a uh, a station that's got a works in it. Which, uh, which after me, it does look pretty nice. So let's accelerate once again. And I hope you can actually tell the difference between uh, the racing I did before and how much this route is getting better. And there's, there's the old works. Looks very nice. I mean, this route, again, still a work in progress, but we have made a ton of, uh, of uh, you know, progress. But, like, you know, it's still a lot of work to do. So what's our speed now? I mean, I'm doing 150. Uh, are we actually speeding up or are we slowing down? I'm not sure. I think we're doing about the same. Can't see the other trains. The HHPA, not in sight. I mean, the big question is, where's the class 90? That's what I want to know. Uh, let's have a look on the map. So we are here. HHPA is there, and Class 90 is there. Um, is it is it catching up to the HHPA? In fact, that's what I want to find out. I'm actually going to go backwards, so we'll let Team Germany uh, take the lead. I just want to go backwards and actually find out where the others are, so let's have a look. Just slow down a little bit. Lovely, good going first person. <laughs> That looks so weird. But what about the class 90? Let's have a look. Class 90, where are you? So let's see how fast. We're going to link our speed to the class 90, see how the class 90 is doing. Let's have a look. 100. Oh, wait, hold on. Slow down a little bit. 127, 128, 129. I think that is about 130. I think that's about, that's about right. 130 for... Um, for the class 90, so 130. So how fast is the uh, HHPA going? So we're, we're playing catch up again. Where's Team Germany? I just don't know. All I know is time is tight. Oh, there's the HHPA. Uh, I can actually maybe start thinking about slowing down uh, very, very carefully. So the class 90 was doing about 130. HHPA is doing about... Oh, it's doing uh, under 130. It's actually doing about 125. So the class 90 is actually going 5 miles per hour faster than the HHP8. Maths. Can't do maths. But anyway, we'll uh, leave these guys to it. So uh, see you later, HHP8. Meow. And we'll now catch up to the class... Uh, no, the DB... What was it? The DB101. 
I think that's um that's what it was or is. Well, I can't see it anywhere. Oh, and I can just see Team Germany in the lead. Uh, they've looks like they've just gone past the uh, the power station. Oh, nuclear, n nuclear power station, nuclear. Um, don't know how fast she's going, but we're about to find out. So uh, I'm doing 100. No, doing 311. It's <laughs> a speed I hardly say. Um, so I'll apply my brakes just a little bit. There we go. And I think that's Tornado in the siding. Uh, taking on coal and water. Hello, Tornado. Um, yeah, just, just ignore her. Um, she's not part of this race. Uh, so how fast is the DB101 doing? So let's have a look. Yep, it's um, it's increasing its lead because it's doing about 100, uh, no, 145 miles per hour. So not 160. I was wrong. I mean... I've been wrong many times, and you're like, no, it's one of those moments where I'm wrong again. It's a Lazy Jet classic that I'm always wrong. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to leave Team Germany to it, and I'm going to go backwards to see how the others are doing. Because, I mean, we've, we we already know that Team Germany has won this, like, massively. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. But the trains I really want to see racing is the HHP8 and the Class 90, because it is actually quite close between those two trains. So if I stop... Uh, just outside the tunnel, and we'll sa we'll actually um get a shot. See which one's kind of come out. Oh, I see a train. It's the HHP8. Oh, excellent. But where is the uh, class 90? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I see it in the tunnel. I see the class 90. It's in the tunnel. And here it comes. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That looks amazing. So let's accelerate. That thing is the super class 47 is ridiculously fast. I mean. I mean, I know the class, uh, well, the DB, um, class, uh, zero, no, 101, I, I'm getting confused, um, I know that does accelerate quick, but nothing accelerates as fast as the super class 47, I mean, just looking at the class 90 and seeing the HHPA in the distance, it is quite close, isn't it, I mean, yes, the, uh, the HHP8 did have a good acceleration start, but, now it's at full speed, it's not as fast as the Class 90, and even though the Class 90 was a terrible starter. So I guess it's a good thing that this racetrack is quite long, because it gives the slow starters a chance to actually maybe have a chance to catch up. In my mind. Because look at our speed, doing 130, and I know for a fact that HHP8 is only doing 125. And, the, and you know, and the finish line is almost... Is almost Upon us, but I don't, I don't, I don't see the class ninety actually winning this. But like, remember, it's the first train to stop, and there you go. So Team Germany, even though I'm not actually there, Team Germany has already won this race, and like, you know, <laughs> I'm nowhere near the finish line. Oh, but the class ninety is actually starting to slow down, which means I need to speed up and see what the HHPA is doing. Now, obviously, there's nothing in this part of the route. I haven't actually added any scenery or trees or not even a house or anything. Um, just track and overhead wires and a fence. That's that's all I've added here. Um, oh, but the HHPA is slowing down quite a bit. Um, this might actually be quite a close uh, finish between the HHP8 and the Class 90. Okay, so what I'll do is, as always, park the uh, Super Class 47 in the station first. So we'll just park it opposite to Team Germany. So, I mean, Team Germany is obviously one. I mean, that is, that is, that is like the most obvious thing. Uh, but, um, oh, it's quite close between uh, the HHP8 and the Class 90, but I... I think the uh, the HHPA uh, will do for second place, and the Class 90 will be in last. Because even though, like you know, it's still quite close, I think it's obvious that the HHPA is going to stop first. But I tell you what, it's a very close finish. Oh, uh, so HHPA in uh, second place, and Class 90 in third place, which is in last. And oh, I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Oh, it's God. I lost it. I lost it. I lost the sneeze. Anyway, forget the sneeze. Uh, there's the Class 90. Park it next to the uh, DB101. Lovely. Uh, so, Team Germany in first place. Team America in second. And for last place is Great Britain. That's a bit sad, but never mind. But the main question is, which team do you guys support? Team America 
Team Great Britain or Team Germany? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. But that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And there's a power mill there. What? what I don't even know why that's there. How did I even get there? Let's go to the world editor and get rid of that. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't want that. Just, just, you know, shh, just, we'll just ignore that. But that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to, like, you know, follow me on them. You don't have to. But thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I could be an expert at this stuff. Um, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe.